Our first awardee this evening tackles one of the most urgent threats everywhere, and yet it's one that lives in the shadows, corruption. The last three decades have seen a dramatic globalization of organized crime and corruption now totaling trillions of dollars and among other devastating outcomes going to a rise in global inequality as the money flows to an elite network of individuals, companies, governments. If corruption is a disease, then transparency is an essential part of its treatment. The Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project, by exposing crime and corruption, is providing the transparency and truth necessary for the public to begin to hold power to account. In the face of growing global threats to independent media, this organization provides digital and physical security and allows journalists to work in teams and with trusted editors, to partner with advocacy groups, to press for justice and change, and to unearth the evidence that enables law enforcement to act. OCCRP is responsible, for example, for exposing global corruption through the Panama Papers and another 300 plus official investigations, 442 indictments, arrests or sentences, 52 high level resignations. This organization currently publishes more than 100 investigations a year, a number they expect to grow more this year, making it one of the largest producers of investigative reporting in the world. Meet the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project. In uh, 2003, I was asked to go to Eastern Europe and train reporters on trafficking of human beings. Um, and uh, I was not too impressed with the class, but there was one young guy at the front, and every time I'd ask the question, his hand would go up, and he'd answer it, and he was usually right. And at one point, I got a little frustrated with them, and I said, you know, have any of you actually ever talked to a trafficked person before? Um, and his hand went up, and he, he said, oh, I'm I went undercover, and I bought two of them. Um, and at the break, I went to the people who were hosting and I said, look, this, this guy knows more than I do. Uh, can we hire him to teach with me on my next class? And that's how I got to know Paul. Drew was running an investigative reporting center in Bosnia and I was running one in Romania. Our stories were all about organized crime and corruption. We compared notes and we quickly realized that the same people were doing the exact same scams in both our countries. So we decided to collaborate across borders. Our first story disrupted a fraudulent business scheme and won a global prize. And that's how OCCRP was born. With each story, it became clearer that collaborative uh, strategies and technologies are key to taking on the criminal underworld. It takes a network to fight a network. Growing inequality, poverty, the rise of autocrats, disappearing democracies, the rise of extremist groups. You know, we see these trends every day, but they all have something in common. They're all fueled by the globalization of organized crime and corruption. Uh, with the help of what we call the criminal services industry, which are the banks, the law firms, registration agents, accounting firms who service crime and corruption, crime and corruption has become this modern industry and we're in the midst of its largest growth since maybe the world has ever seen. This global network of corruption has no natural enemies. Law enforcement stops at borders but we learned how transnational organized crime works. Criminal entrepreneurs will use the same lucrative schemes over and over again, territory after territory, legal loophole after legal loophole, and server after server. This is why we are changing investigative reporting. We are putting more science in it, and we are training new generations to become skilled, dedicated experts who know how to fight the scourge of organized crime. So what started off as a small project has morphed into one of the largest investigative platforms on earth. We publish hundreds of stories in various languages. Um, and by exposing corruption and explaining exactly how it works, we really empower people to act and to take back power from those who profit from their expense. We're proud of everything we've accomplished, but there's a whole lot more work to do. And that's why we're so happy today. So thank you so much, Skoll, for this award and for recognizing the importance of investigative reporting to build a better world.